Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining me. Uh, we're doing a, another question at BoatingTechTalk.com. So this time we've got a question from a fellow boater, Lucas. Lucas uh, is setting up his question, by the way, well done. Context is good, but not too much because otherwise it would take me, you know, 15 minutes to read the question. I have three battery banks and purchased two ArgoFET battery isolators. Uh, these, the ArgoFETs are sort of go-to choice for battery isolators and they're from Victron. Great company, by the way. I purchased them a bit early in my planning process. Okay, a little bit of a keener, I like it. And purchased two of the one input to three output isolators. So battery isolators, by the way, have most of them, not all of them, again, rules have always exceptions. I grew up in a French world and trust me, I don't master the language just yet. There's always exceptions to every world. One input, multiple outputs. So it could be one to two or one to three. Okay, coming down. So why? Well, you could have one alternator wanting to recharge a house battery, an engine battery, and a thruster battery, right? So in this situation, the boater has two engines and two alternators. And so each alternator is going to be connected to a battery isolator, sort of like a Y. And in turn, that battery isolator could be connected to three batteries. So the question is, Jeff, can I leave one output unwired on my Argo FET battery isolator? Oh, God, I love these questions. This is good because I ask myself those questions too. By the way, when I get excited about a question is, I think about these things too, you know? I worry about that stuff, you know? The question is always, well, what, what now? What about this? What about that, right? That curiosity is what gets us closer to a better boat and a better boat makes for a more pleasurable boating experience. So it's worth wondering and worrying about these things. And the answer is yes, you can absolutely leave a, the third output or a output disconnected from your battery isolator. You don't have to have it connected. And so it's okay. You have a one to three, no problem. Connect one, one battery to one, another battery to two, and then leave three, no problem. Now, of course, it's going to be confusing to someone that might come down later. So you might want to label it and said, you know, disconnect it on purpose. Because as we get on boards, we are always looking at stuff and like, well, what, why did they buy a one to three if they only need one to two? So you may not own that boat forever, or you may forget what you did. Trust me, I didn't think that was possible. And it happened. Testify on my own boat. How could I forget anything about my own boat? It's impossible, but it did happen because we do a lot of things on our boat. And so I would probably just label it, have a little note, say intentionally disconnected, you know, waiting for a third, maybe a third battery bank. Maybe one day you're going to have a generator being charged from the alternator, or you're going to put another thruster in. That's all possible. But yes, you don't have to connect all three outputs on a one to three. So great question. And thanks for asking. Thank you for watching this PYS video. If you've got further questions, please ask them below or send us an email via the contact forms on our website. Happy to donate my time to share information with you. You can support us in keeping this channel ad-free by purchasing some merchandise on our store or by making a donation on PayPal. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again for watching.